Die, G.I. Joe! Shut him down, Gung Ho. You got it, Duke. I'll have you nailed. What? What happened? Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, surrender. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, let's take a look at the... <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. The Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Special Missions Cobra Island Major Blood. I know there's a lot of swirly twirly questions going around. No, I didn't pay some crazy price for this. No, I don't know anybody at Target. My P.O. Box is in the description. It has been for over a thousand videos. That's it. That's the whole story. And I'm not usually one for leaks, but <laughs> the whole game changes when one pops up right in front of your face. But it's a G.I. Joe. I love the line, no matter how hard they make it to get these things, because you've already seen it, right? The Cobra Island, that means it's a Target exclusive. Hopefully they'll be easy to find. Hopefully we turn that bend of them figuring out the distribution at some point. There's a lot of hope involved whenever we talk about the G.I. Joe line. Looking at the package, Cobra, there's a red motif along with the blue. Got the Cobra Island logo hanging out behind Major Blood. All his accessories are shown in the window. Cobra Island logo, G.I. Joe, that unique artwork we see for each character. On the side panel, more of that unique art. It has him without his helmet, his hair showing, which matches the figure. On the back, we don't have the poster that we see with a lot of these figures. With the Cobra Island stuff, we get a map. I can't remember if the other two... I know one was up here. Was another one over here somewhere? Down here is your warnings, attention, parents, includes figure and six accessories, small parts. Don't put them in your mouth. On the other side, here's that new file card system that Hasbro has come up with that you have to kind of decipher yourself. But like Flint and Lady J that we looked at earlier in the week, Major Blood does have a entry on the GIJoe.com website that gives you all the stuff right there. He is Mercenary Level 4, Launcher Level 2, Tactics 3, and Sabotage 3. Vicious Mercenary. On the top, Cobra logo. He is number 27 in the series. On the bottom, more warnings, barcode. There you go. But let's get this open and see what's going on here. Oh, and cutting the tape. Yes, before you comment, I have seen the eBay auction that's currently going on. I open my toys. Whatever. I want the plastic. This is trash. Got to point it out in the package the armor looked like it was warped a bit but as soon as i got it out of the blister it laid right down getting it all open and uh, squared away this may be my favorite gi joe figure so far which is a shame because I, if it is a target exclusive that sucks it is so well designed even though a lot of it is reuse most of the body is the cobra trooper same arms with the pads and the seams and the gauntlet on the forearm same glove cobra logos on both i haven't taken the chest armor off a cobra trooper but i'm assuming that's the same thing underneath especially since the legs are also reused same texture and wrinkles to the legs same knee pads same bunchiness up above the boots but that's when it changes and the first thing that makes me like this so much is how classic inspired it is is. The second thing is it has some cowboy flavor to it. The boots have the toes coming out, the leather texture look to it, these straps with that ring right there, very nicely painted. In fact, the silver is on the toe and there, and then on this shin guard on the front of the boot. And there's some damage to it, like it's been through some rough and tumbles. And then they're not painted, but you can see the little buckles right there holding those pads on. Well, it's not a separate piece. Well, you know what I mean. Is this real life? No, it's a fantasy. It's very realistic in how they set this up. The other big thing is the right arm. It is more robotic than I usually think of when I think of Major Blood. Usually it's the same shape and length as the other arm, just encased in metal or has some bands to it or some robot parts. Here almost skeleton like it's thinner it has some metal details to it comes down slopes and then there's the hand it's got pointy fingers to it but the details on it kind of terminator ish but the thing that makes it feel very what am i going for here unnatural is the length the right arm is longer than the left it would bug the hell out of me most times but because of the design here and the asymmetry, I like that they took it a little further. Not too much, but just enough. There's the shoulder pad with the Mars logo on it. It is on a hinge. It gets up and out of the way so you can use all the articulation at the shoulder. That's very cool. Very nice details to the chest overlay. It has these vent things. And I always kind of thought of the arm 
being part of this like this is how it's integrated into the rest of the torso it's also the, all the same color that's gunmetal grayish metallic but they did come in and paint these buckles over the top here's some more silver here and here the best thing about it though when it comes to the classified line is that it's a rubbery material you can see the hinge it gets out of the way of that there's no hindrance there then there's also the new belt piece completely floats but I like this more than others because it doesn't get crazy. It's not all floating away because it comes down to the holster and then straps around the leg. And like the boots, all kinds of leather detail, almost Old West feeling, big old holster. Not a lot of color to it. It's all cast in that black color, but it still works. They did come up here and paint silver for the buckle and then whatever these canisters are on the front. It was around, not a lot of detail. Well, it still has that leather detail to it around the back. Nothing else hanging off. Not a lot of pouches. Forget the 90s, he goes back to the 1890s. Then there's the head, again, much like the boots. The boots almost set the whole tone of the figure, but there's some rough and tumble up here. Look at the scarring going over the eye. Just rugged looking. Nice photo reel to the eyes, and then even some red underneath. Little five o'clock shadow poking through in places. The mustache, the sneer of the lip, just brrr. He's even given himself a little gray, just a slight streak up on top. All the way around, he shaves close. As far as gripes go, I gotta go after the hips again. I've been doing that a lot with the G.I. Joe figures, but those pins in there just seem super thin. But I haven't had as much worry to it. I, it's nice and smooth right out of the box. I haven't added shock oil to this at all, and I, I don't feel like I really need to. I talked about the chest armor, and it seems to have bunched back up. I may have to put some heat on that and try to straighten it out just a little. It's not bad. I mean, you don't hardly notice it until you go looking for it. Again, it's not that bad. It's just barely higher on this side than this side. If you're messing with it a lot, the whole chest piece likes to ride up a little bit too, so you gotta constantly push it down a bit. And there goes the belt because I pushed the leg up. Things are just a little fiddly. When you strike a pose, you have to go back and tweak this back down and reset that, push that down, bring the shoulder pad over if you need to, just little things. Also another thing, on the package, the eye patch has that red, uh, is it a light? They didn't paint that red on the actual figure. Going over articulation, there is a hinge at the top of the neck, although, oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> it's very tight. That goes to a ball joint in the top of the head and then a ball joint at the bottom of the neck. He can look all the way up, down the vest, kind of gets in the way, but can look down. Because of the ball joint at the bottom, he's got so much doubt. Swivel, butterfly joint at the shoulder, goes forward and back. And yeah, that's on both sides. It goes forward and back. Like I just showed, the shoulder pad is on a hinge, goes up. That allows you to bring the arm up to 90. Rotates all the way around. Swivel at the bicep. Double elbow, comparing the right and the left. The left has less travel than the right. That's just a bigger hinge. Because of that, comes all the way up. While the left goes up to about right there, the bracer hits on the bicep. Trigger finger for both hands, but for some reason, Hasbro has been making a lot of the figures side to side on the right, up and down on the left. Always feel like the up and down is the dominant hand. So are, are all these characters left-handed? Hinge at the torso goes forward, goes back. Then there's a ball joint at the waist that helps just a little bit, goes more forward, goes more back. Tilt side to side, rotates. Drop down hip, comes to about right there and then forward back goes out okay the belt kind of gets in the way but you can see goes all the way well most of the way to 90 swivel at the bicep that's a thigh get with the program double knee oh bu -bu 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 -bu. swivel at the top of the boot hinge at the ankle goes back forward i feel like that goes further than a lot of the other figures and then forward facing pin for rocker for accessories very vintage figure inspired first up there is the pack the backpack. <laughs> I say that like I just invented it. Well, it's a pack and it goes on the back. It's a backpack. Looking just like the original, but you'll notice that there's something missing. We'll get to those. I just talked about how the vest likes to ride up, but if you look at the hole, you have to push the vest up in order to line that up. So I try to push up to get that lined up, get that in, and then I try to push the front down as far as I can. He comes with this rocket launcher pistol. Again, this looks just like the original weapon. They also made these two rockets separate pieces this time around, and I think they've done this with figures since the original release, but this is my first experience with it. There is a hole in the end of the barrel, a pin on the rocket. Those do go together. Looks a little bit odd. I think the rocket was originally part of this top or something, but I appreciate the effort. But if you're wanting to store those, the rocket comes out. Like I said, there was two, and those both plug into the back of the pack. You know, 
the back of the backpack. Not the tightest fit. You gotta kind of mess around with it, find a sweet spot, get it in there. That works. Then the launcher has a peg on the side, peg hole on the side of the pack. That stores too. If you have that on and you're messing around and you, yeah, if you just barely touch it, it's gonna pop it out. But I think I like this revolver looking pistol better. I can't tell you if another figure has come with it. I think the Sideshow 12 inch figure had a regular looking revolver, but I like that this is classified a bit. In fact, is this, I don't know, is it nerfy? Is it futuristic? Don't care, it's cowboy. That's what matters to me. Easy enough, goes right in the hand. Quick draw. But if you don't want it there, there's the holster. There's also these dog tags that go around the neck, but once you put it on and kind of lock it around the collar right there, it just feels thick. Like, like if he were running or something, that's the damage to his face, right? He was running with all this around his neck. <laughs> dog tag to the eye. So again, it looks okay for like yearbook pictures or something, but me, that's probably gonna be off most of the time. What does finish off the look is his helmet. No bells, no whistles, just, you know, major blood helmet. It's not fancy, it just goes right on. Collar sticking up, the helmet sticking down. Don't get me wrong, you can still get around with the helmet on, but it does slightly get in the way. Major blood stands at about six and three sixteenths to the top of his helmet, which stacks up great with other G.I. Joe classified series Cobra characters like Cobra Commander and Destro. But he can give the Joes like Snake Eyes and Duke a run for their money too. If you're wanting to branch your G.I. Joes into other universes, here is the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series first release Stormtrooper and the Marvel Legends comic book Black Panther. Moff X, Hush, Batman, and Superman? Or bring it back around to Marvel with movie Deadpool and in-game Captain America. So at the end of the day, again, I think this is my favorite G.I. Joe figure so far. There's a giddy up to it, you know what I mean? A mix of modern technology with Old West aesthetics. With some Australian accent thrown in there, just because. Major blood down under. I apologize, I'm sorry. The overlays and stuff can still be, I, I don't even want to say frustrating, slightly annoying at times, but the freedom of the torso, the way everything works together, the mix of vintage original release figure and new style classified figure, yeah, this one's a winner. But unfortunately, again, Cobra Island means Target. I have been lucky so far. I have found a couple at my local Target through sheer luck alone, and then friends from, you know, different parts of the nation have helped me out. Otherwise, I wouldn't have these. But I think the team did do an interview after the last live stream saying that they're gonna do another live stream in June to address the issues with Target and distribution. Hopefully, they're gonna get more out there. I think I saw a news post today saying that they were gonna try to reissue or re-release the Target stuff or the Cobra Island, kind of like the Cobra Trooper. They need to do more of that. Yes, I know it was stripped down, but at least they got that character, that figure out there to the masses. Well, still trying to get it out there. Things are still having trouble in the shipping department, but hopefully they start making more and make it easier to get. And if there is exclusives, there's another chance at them later on. If it keeps going like this, it's not gonna keep going like this. That's all there is to it. But if they do make it easier to get, get yourself a major blood because it's an awesome figure. If you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or just in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll just catch you on the foosh. I guess you could call this a little drab though. It has the gun metal for the holsters and the belts and the chest and the arm and the helmet and the boots and then some browns. Touches of silver and that's about it. But Again, that may be another contributing factor to why I like this so much. It's simple, but complicated. <laughs> the whole thing is just an oxymoron.